Am I in? Yes guys, welcome back to another video here on the Andy Hashtag One channel. I'm back again. Tim Pittman in goal for a three exercises to improve your angled shot stopping. As with the previous videos, if you've seen them, click there or click there, I can never remember which way, but we're doing three exercises to improve. So it's gonna be an announced practice, an unannounced practice, and a live practice. If you're interested to see what they are, what that means, there's a link in the description to a really interesting FA learning webinar, so you can go watch that after, of course, you've watched this video. Now, if you do like the video, make sure, of course, give it a like, really help this channel, give it a like, subscribe if you're new. Welcome, there's loads of goalkeeping content coming. Let's get into the video. So we're starting with an announced practice, which is where the goalkeeper knows uh, the session structure and also the service types. It's a very repetition type practice uh, in this instance. And all we're asking is nice and simply is for the goalkeeper to make an initial movement. In this case, it's a turning off the post as if the ball's been cut back slightly and then it's a shot from the angle. So we're not going to move that much. So uh, the, the strikes are going to be there or thereabouts in the same sort of area. We are striking the ball off the floor, half volleys, volleys we might see as well. So there is a little bit of variation in there, but not a lot. So what we're asking the goalkeeper to do here is to that turn in, uh, get eyes on the ball quickly, make sure you're square, chest is square to the ball. And more importantly, you're in line with the ball in the middle of the goal and at a depth which you're comfortable with. So uh, Tim and I are about the same height, so we might be there or thereabouts, the same sort of distance off the line. You might be working with a bigger goalkeeper or you might be a taller goalkeeper yourself. You might be slightly further out. You might be a little bit shorter. You might be slightly further in, but you've got to find where that sweet spot is for you. So as I mentioned, we're all we're asking the goalkeeper to do here is a quick turn in, get into line, move those feet, stay square, and then make a save. Shot strike, something like that. You got the goal, got me. There, boy. Two. So now we've moved on to an unannounced practice. So an unannounced practice is where the goalkeeper is unaware of either the service type or it's the structure of the practice itself. So we're adding in a couple of variable elements of the practice here. We're adding in two to this particular practice. Uh, the first of which is there are three cones in front of the goalkeeper and we've just numbered those one, two and three. So we're asking the goalkeeper to vary his dart position. Um, so basically we're trying to get the goalkeeper out of position to therefore have to move and get into position based on the position of the ball, which is the That's second better, variable yeah. in this instance. So from an initial start position, which again will be moved, there'll be a touch out of the feet, there'll be something what? that's... Uh, that moves that position before then a strike of yeah, some sort. It will be generally off the floor Three. in this particular instance. That's one, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, oh no, you're right. Sorry, that's me. Is that one, two, and three? Yeah, sorry. Three. Lucky. So we're asking the goalkeeper to do two things. First is get in line as quickly as possible after being out of line through the call, call on the cone and then to take up a position based on um, where the position of the ball and then of course to react to the, to the shot. So there's more things that you could be able to coach in this particular instance. So we're looking at what those triggers are in terms of the ball position, the positioning, what the strike is, when the strike is, how you're setting uh, save type. There's lots of things that we could bring out within this practice. Great, oh, great save. Great save. Good save, man. Right. So the third yeah, practice well, exercise that we're looking at here no, is a practice touch. which is moving yeah, more towards live. It's not live live, it's not completely replicating the game as such as there's only two of us, but it is something more that resembles more of the game than, than the two practices that you've seen before. So in this instance, we're, we're adding a couple of additional things in here as well. We've got a rebounder, so it's a throw and a catch from the rebounder initially. Then we're adding in an element of distribution. In this case, it's a throw often from Tim because we're working just outside the 18-yard box. But you could add in there a pass from the floor or a, a, a volley or a side volley, some sort of distribution out of the hands if you wanted to as well. Uh, we've also got a mannequin there as well, so it might... Um, 
kind of facilitate that touch round a, a defender to get a shot off or it might block the goalkeeper's view in some sort. It's something a bit different. You work with defenders, but a very static defender in this case. And then when the ball gets to that attacking player, then it's very much up to that person what it is they're going to do. So it could be a touch round onto the right foot uh, and then down the line on a shot. It could be a touch inside and a shot on the left foot. Uh, it's something that's just a bit different. So then that means that we're asking more of the goalkeeper in terms of decision making. We're still building on the practices that have gone before. We're still asking the goalkeeper to get in line with the ball, uh, as you'd expect. We're also asking the goalkeeper to pick up on those triggers. It might be a big touch you have to go and smother. It might be a smaller touch that you have to set for. What's that distance from uh, the goal line? What's your positioning like? What's your set position like? What are those triggers? What are those more decisions that we're asking the goalkeeper to make? Which you'd expect within a game sort of situation. And the other thing we're asking for here in this instance is the ball's not dead until it's dead. Dead, essentially so the goalkeeper's got the ball in hands or it's a good save or it's away from that that forward um, so there's lots of different things that we're asking the goalkeeper to do here as mentioned it's building on that decision making practice so it means that we've got more that we could be uh, coaching and there's more actions that the goalkeeper could be doing it's more towards that live it's not live live but it is live including picking the ball out of the net Yes, guys, hope you've enjoyed that video. Three exercises to help improve your angled shot stopping. Very tired at the end. That is quite a blow, actually. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, of course, like the video, thumbs up, comment below which exercises you liked, which ones you'd use in your sessions, which ones you'd want your goalie coach to do with you. Thanks, of course, to Tim for coming down and helping out. Thanks, of course, also to Alf for holding a the camera. There's Alf in the background. Thanks for watching. See you all soon. How you feeling, mate? I'll tell you what, you have done me, mate, on a Sunday night as well. Killed me. Two hours on a Sunday, but I loved it, mate. Thanks for having me as always. Good side.